All right, this tutorial is set up for anyone that would like to um, make or set up a NinJam server for Mac OS X. Um, so what you'd like to do first is go to the website and ninjam.com and you can scroll down or hit the download section if you like I'll just go ahead and hit the download section um, at this point here um, you've got a link to the, the NinJam server. There's a really cool setup guide here. It lets you know uh, how to change some, or gives you some advice on how to change some of the parameters in the config file uh, that you'll get. But for right now, first step is to download this right here. Um, and once you do, it's going to pop up with an icon like that. And so that's your first step. After I have that downloaded, I want to make things a little easier to work with. So what I'll do is go up here and create a new folder. And I'm just going to name it NinJam. And once I do, I'll open that folder. And I'll open this as well. And I'm going to uh, just drag and drop these files into that folder and that's going to allow me to uh, alter it uh, a little bit easier once you've done that go into the example.cfg.txt and you can at this point you can change a lot of these parameters but uh, this is really set up um, to where you don't really need to if you don't want to you can set uh, arbitrary limits you know uh, set your max uh, users set your port if you need to do so differently because of router settings or something but for the most part just um, you can keep settings the way they are uh, you might want to change your administrator uh, name here you could create your own and your your own password um, or you can choose to go ahead and allow anonymous users and then not have to worry about that um, it's really completely up to you on how you want to alter the files and there's plenty of information out there in that setup document to really help you with that but um, well, let's talk about after that. So after you get all of that information in there, you need to go ahead and, and save this. And um, you can you can overwrite it if you want. Um, but like what I'll do is I'm going to save as. And you can name this anything you like. Um, it can be like anything. Just make sure that you keep the .cfg extension. And I will take this off as well. I don't want the txt at the end. Um, so name it anything you want .cfg and then hit save. Um, and once you do that, it's created another file down here. Okay, to make things easier on myself, after I finished with that, what I did was I dragged this uh, NinJam server file. I dragged it down to the applications folder. I'm not going to do that yet because I already have one in there. Um, and then also this, you drag that file that you created down into the application folder. Again, I just do that for ease of use and you'll see why. The next thing I want to do is open the terminal. Now I have one here on my dock. But if you don't have it on your dock, you can hit the finder and go up here to the search bar and type in terminal and then go ahead and open that. Okay, after you're there, the thing you'll want to do is tell the terminal to go open those files. And the way that we'll do this is we're going to hit CD. Well, actually, you just point it to the directions. Uh, if you've installed it somewhere else, this will be entirely different. And that's why I moved it over here to the Applications folder to make things easier. So I went, I go to CD slash, and actually a space, and then slash, and then Applications. Okay? 
Once you have that typed in, hit enter. At this point, I'm into the app applications folder. All right, the next thing that we want to do is, is to have the terminal point to the files that we drug into the applications folder. Um, so in order to do that, what you'll want to do is type in point or dot uh, slash and then ninjam s r v with the space and then this is where you're going to write in the name of the file that you created so if you kept it as example.cfg then that's what you would put uh, in my case I changed it to config.cfg and hit enter at that point um, it is opening up. Now you'll notice that uh, it says error opening license file. It's because I had changed that. Um, but uh, the server has started up. It's using port 2049. So now all we have to do is keep this terminal open somewhere and uh, open up Ninjam. Now I am using a standalone version of Ninjam, uh, but a lot of people are using uh, using it as a VST plugin inside of Reaper. Either way is fine. Uh, essentially, it's the same. You're going to connect, and you'll be given this um, this little dialog box here that you need to enter in. This is where you have to give people the um, your IP address. Now. Um, you're going to put in your IP address with a colon that key right there you're going to hit your IP address with the colon plus the port number uh, so in my case it would be whatever the IP address was colon then 2049 uh, I've set mine up for anonymous login temporarily until I set some passwords up in the file but in order to get that IP address, it's very simple. Go down into your system preferences and then hit network. Now the IP address is actually behind my hand. For security reasons, I'm not putting that out there. But the, um, you know, it's very easy uh, to get your IP address, you know, from a Mac that way. So you put in that number. Uh, followed by the colon and then followed by the port number with really no spaces and once you designate a time and people enter that and they go through that port um, you're connected uh, and you use NIM jam as normal I hope that helps guys